In 1910, when Glacier National Park was first established, early sightseers were captivated by what they saw. Lacking developed roads, visitors quickly found that boat tours offered a comfortable and adventurous way to see the park's wild landscape. Today, 100 years later, several of these classic boats still operate on the same lakes as part of the Glacier Park Boat Company, a company owned and operated by the same family that ran tours on the lakes way back in the 1920s. In 1929, a Flathead Valley boat builder by the name of Billy Swanson finished building the Desmet, a 57-foot long boat with a 12-foot beam. The Desmet was launched onto Lake McDonald and has been in operation ever since. The Desmet was the latest in a series of boats built by Swanson starting in the 1920s, including the Sinopah, Little Chief, Morning Eagle, and the International. Amazingly, these sturdy historic boats still sail the park's glacial lakes, allowing visitors to get up close and personal with this incredible wilderness. Sinopah has been sailing the lake since her launch in 1924. She's 45 feet long. If you look, it kind of looks like a pyramid. It's just to the left of the end of Rising Wolf, to the right of Mount Helen there. And that's called Flinch Peak. And Flinch is a Matterhorn. Built in 1925, Little Chief is the sister boat to Sinopah and sails St. Mary Lake, passing close to Wild Goose Island. The Double Deck Desmet on Lake McDonald is Glacier Boat Company's largest historic boat. Tours may include interpretive talks by park rangers, like Doug Follett, who's been a ranger at Glacier National Park for 50 years. The mountains that that glacier came down on had been here for millions of years, long before the Ice Age crept down to give it a facelift. And that's what the Ice Age did was give a facelift to mountains that were already here. On the east side of the park, Many Glacier features two boats on two lakes. From Many Glacier Hotel, ride Chief Two Guns across Swift Current Lake. And that's Goodell, which is the biggest of the three in this area. So three glaciers in this valley. On the far shore, take a brisk 400-yard walk to Lake Josephine, where you board the Morning Eagle. The Morning Eagle takes you into the heart of one of the most spectacular valleys in America. It's a hiker's paradise. From Glacier Park, many visitors drive across the border to Canada's Waterton Lakes National Park. Here, within view of Prince of Wales Hotel, Waterton Shoreline Cruise Company operates their flagship historic boat, the International. Built by Swanson in 1928, this 73-foot ship cruises the length of beautiful Upper Waterton Lake, crossing the international border into Montana to Goat Haunt in the heart of the International Peace Park wilderness. Our bears here uh, come out of hibernation with one thing on their minds, and that's to eat as much food as they possibly can in a short period of time before the next hibernation. As a result, they eat mostly vegetation, berries, those sorts of things. The historic boats of Glacier Waterton have a special place in the region's history. So get out of your car and come make a more personal connection with nature on Glacier's historic boats. You'll be glad you did.